Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford Salon in Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Mustang Mach E. Order banks are open up for these uh, for a couple different trim levels, and we're going to talk about one of those trim levels in this video. And so, uh, if you're wanting to know, hey, how, how can I have mine? How will it be equipped and such? And what options do I have? This is a great video for you to look at before placing that order with your local dealer. And uh, we got a couple tips we'll have at the end of the video. So make sure you're using those timestamps to move around and look at that, as well as we are taking orders ourselves. Uh, we are going to be $1,000 below MSRP price and include a YouTube special for shipping. So check out more information about that and some different tips on ordering in the timestamp down below in the conclusion area uh, if you want to uh, hit that, that information. And uh, again, you can order with your local dealer, great local dealers out there, so look for those. Uh, but this will give you the insights of this. We're going to talk about the premium trim level here. And if you had missed out in the select, uh, no problem. Because if uh, you're like, you know what, I'm not sure, but uh, is this a continuation of that? No, this is its own video. So we're going to go over what's standard on all premiums, including what we've already covered on the standard, and then what different optional equipment is available as well in this video. Now, if you want to know just exactly what upgrades you are from standard to premium, if you watch that video, you can check out the video that I, we did of the overview of the model year, which I actually go over the, the what you get on top of the premium or on top of the standard with the premium. Uh, you can watch that and then just watch the optional equipment part of this video. Again, this is a resource for you. Feel free to, to use it how you need to and move around in the video uh, and everything else. So hopefully you do like this video. If you do, you like our other videos. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, that way you don't miss a single video. And let's get started. So first, let's talk about the premium trim level. Now, uh, as I mentioned, order banks are open up. You do have to order through your local dealer because the, uh, the online um, pricing and ordering is not available yet. So you will need to find that Model E certified dealership that can take your order. Uh, locally uh, or with us, of course, if you want. Uh, so we're going to use, but we are going to use some of Ford's website just to kind of give you an overview of the look of it because there are a lot of similarities between 23 and 24, especially on the premium trim. Not a lot of differences between the two, um, but uh, let's go ahead and dive in and, and kind of cover some of those. So get my bearings here and what I'm doing. All right. So Ford.com, again, they even have the Maki right here showing it uh, and everything right there. Um, but we're going to go up here to vehicles. We're going to go electrified. And they're telling us it could be January. I think they said first quarter before building price will be available for 24 and online ordering. So this all is uh, bearing on 23. No information on 24 here. I think they're kind of waiting until GT and the uh, rally can be ordered uh, before having the online ordering ready to go. Uh, so again, this is 23 California route one is not available this year. And right now you cannot order a GT either. Um, so these are the two trim levels you can order for 24 on your right now, if you want to get that order in. So, uh, pricing is actually the same from 23 job two. this is, this is job two information between 23 and 24. So it is 46, 995 for a rear wheel drive and the optional ER wheel drive is 49, 995. So, uh, we're going to talk about what standard first, and then we'll get into that. We'll, we'll talk about the you know different battery ranges and everything else. It's optional in the optional section of the video. So start, we're going to dive in and cover this and kind of use some of this information. We're going to go to powertrain, and as we go over some of this information, uh, as you can see the different, and actually this has been changed as well um, for pricing. It's actually cheaper now, so uh, we'll get into that. Um, so mechanical features standard is the 72 kilowatt usable capacity standard range. This is the LFP battery. So this battery here is less susceptible to the cold. It's going to charge faster on those uh, those AC uh, outlets and such. If you have the 48 amp, it's going to charge a little faster because it's a, a better uh, battery charging. It's 11 kilowatt uh, with the 48 amp for AC charging. Uh, so a little bit better and also DC charging you're up to 150 kilowatt capacity as well uh, and everything else like that. So getting ahead of myself here, um, the rear wheel drive will have one motor, the electric rear motor uh, in, back there with a single speed transmission like you'd expect. Three different drive modes. We do have an engage, a whisper and an unbridled. Now you do have one pedal driving uh, and if you do, uh, you also do get an uh, eco coach. Uh, if you're in that engage mode for you. So uh, you want to make sure that you have uh, that turned on 
when you're in that setting. Regenerative braking system as well to help you regenerate as much power back as you can. Transmission oil cooler as well to keep that cooled off. Um, we have front and rear stabilizer bar. We also do have electronic power assist steering. So since it's electronically controlled, it's a little bit easier to be able to, um, you know, to um, turn your steering wheel at slower speeds and such. Electronic stability control and electronic traction control as well in electric parking brake with an auto hold as well. And then uh, for charging, you do have the charging port that's going to be on the side over there. Uh, it has the That's a CCS, a combined connector co a combo connector system. This is a J1772 uh, connector there, so you can connect it whether you use a 120 volt, 240, uh, which you just use the top part or flip that open, and you have the DC fast charging direct current there. Uh, you do have the charging indicator, and don't forget, make sure you press that button before you take that out, uh, so that way you disconnect that uh, that flow of power going to the vehicle before you uh, take it out. Um, it'll save on whether or not you need to, you know have to sometimes those those systems will go out so you want to make sure to dis disengage that current flow um we do have don't forget the charging network blue oval charge network with the new charge assist and we do have of course the ability to use the ford pass connect to charge our vehicles as well now let's go to some of the safety features i don't have a lot of images for this for safety, we do have advanced track, so uh, you're going to have that. It's going to be included with the vehicle. Uh, you do also have SOS post crash alert system that's going to honk the horns, flash the lights if you're off the side of the road in an accident. Um, 911 assist as well that'll come uh, that allow you to call 911 directly uh, if you don't have your phone close to you. If your phone's connected, you can do um, be able to call them. Pre collision assist with automatic emergency braking, so that has pedestrian detection. And it has a dynamic brake support as well and pedestrian detection or uh, the front collision uh, sensing as well. So if the car is going slower than you in front of you, it's going to alert you and let you know that pedestrian there as well. And if you don't have to brake, it's going to enable the, it's going to initiate the brake as well with an uh, automatic emergency braking setup. Post collision braking as well. So if maybe you're unconscious or forget to put it in park, you'll have that as well. Now, backing up, you will have the audible alert system uh, that alerts pedestrians as you're backing up. Since you are quiet, there's no motor, it's going to be quieter, so they want to alert, make sure people know that you're backing up. Advanced security package as well that includes security lock, passive, and a theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. Also, you do have the uh, in inclination intrusion sensors. So if that's going to raise that vehicle up, then it's going to alert, honk the horns, flash the lights, and everything else. Um, and then also if somebody tries to intrude into the vehicle as well when you have that vehicle locked up. You do get the lane keeping system that includes driver alert, the lane keeping alert, and lane, keep, lane keeping aid system. And so what this is going to do will help try to keep you in your lane. Uh, when you, even without you don't have that cruise set, you can have this activated. So going you know on city streets and everything else. So basically the alert system will do is allow you to leave your lane, but it will vibrate the steering wheel if you leave your lane. The aid system will, once it gets over to those lines, wants to keep you and bring you back in those lines. Um, also, this will have uh, the intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering assist, speed sign recognition, all go hand in hand along with the Blue Cruise 1.2. So intelligent adaptive cruise control allows you to go a certain speed. If someone's going slower than you, it'll slow you down to go their speed, even bring you to complete stop in those situations. And then also keep you in the center of your lane, which is where that blue cruise can come in handy. Also sees the speed sign recognition. So if the speed sign changes, it'll allow you to change your cruise without having you make any adjustments yourself. And the blue cruise, of course, allows you to go hands-free driving. So completely hands-free, which is really nice, allow you to use that. The 1.2 does have in-lane reposition. So to reposition that if that big car is beside you as well as lane change assist. So it allows you to change the lane just by putting your blinker on. So pretty cool. Also, you get evasive steering assist that if you can't stop in time to hit the vehicle in front of you, you need to avoid them. It'll assist in the steering of that, making it easier. And intersection assist. So if you're going to come across that intersection and there's a car coming, you maybe don't pay it, can't see them because there's two lanes. And maybe the left one is stopped, but there's a car behind them and you can't see them. It'll see that, stop the vehicle so you don't go into the intersection and you have that collision. And then 360 degree camera with the split view uh, for you on the screen and you do get a front washer as well. So uh, three, uh, be able to see completely around you. Camera on the front, back, under each mirror, which is really great. So now moving over to exterior uh, features here, we're gonna actually use right there. 
I was looking for. Uh, move this around to the front. There we go. Uh, so on the front of the vehicle, you do have active grill shutters, just like in the select. They'll open and close when it needs to. You don't have to nothing on your end. But it'll open down here in this uh, lower fascia down here uh, to allow for air in to help uh, cool off the battery and the the engine or the motor, I should say. Um, front grill uh, applique insert is going to be painted black. Um, so you're going to see uh, that right in there. So pretty cool. Uh, we do have a Automatic headlights, so come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light if you have an auto setting for your headlights. LED projector headlights with signature lighting as well, so projector so much brighter. We do have wiper activated headlights, which means when you have the wipers on, yes, the headlights will be on. Configurable daytime running lights as well, uh, so you can have those configured to be on during the daytime, just like it sounds. Auto high beam, just like the automatic headlights, if you have this activated, Turn the high beams on. If someone approaches you, you're in the city lights, it'll shut them off. That is something you activate and deactivate in your, <coughs> in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Um, we do have the front fascia, body colored upper with black painted uh, down here. So uh, it was molded in black on the select. Now we get an upgrade to that on the premium. And then, of course, body colored inserts uh, right in there as well. And then uh, so front sensing system as well. Actually, full around sensing system. Front side as well as rear sensing, so you can get alert if you get too close to anything. Windshield is a laminated glass, uh, two pieces of glass with plastic in between, and that just allows it to adhere. So, if uh, you know it's going to be quieter, but also if something hits that windshield, it's going to keep it together with that plastic sheet in there, so that way it doesn't have breaking glass coming inside you. Windshield wiper de icer. So, you know, in the wintertime, we have this around here, defrost the windshield, but it's still snowing or whatever. The windshield wipers will get wet and they'll freeze up on you when, when you're going on highway speeds. This will help keep that defrosted. Um, rain sensing wipers as well. So if you had one of those intermittent settings, you have this activated. It's going to turn it on when it needs to and wipe it faster when it needs to. And don't forget about the front trunk or people like to call it the frunk uh, with a drainable uh, um, compartment in there. So you can put things in there, ice, whatever, have a little party. You can put all those beverages in there and keep that them cool or put it use it for storage. Either one. <clears throat> All right, moving to the side, we have a 19-inch. Now, it's going to be different than this. Bright machine face aluminum wheel with the black painted pockets. Uh, the center cap will be black painted with the pony graphic on it as well. Uh, tires are going to be a 225-55 R19. They're the XL103H all-season tire. They're, they're made for EVs. Individual tire pressure monitoring system well, so it monitors the tire pressure on those tires. Four-wheel disc brakes with ABS as well. And then your wheel lip moldings are going to be painted black here. So the difference between the Select and the, and the Premium is a lot more luxurious look. So black painted wheel lip moldings on the front and the rear. Also the rocker moldings down here are going to be black painted as well as the, um, the side of the vehicle, the rocker and the side molding on the doors. Sorry. Uh, charge port is going to be right there, as we mentioned earlier, uh, where you can uh, charge up all different uh, connectivities. Uh, there'll be AC, DC charging. Uh, let's talk about the mirrors for a second. We do have a body color or a black painted mirror cap. We do have power folding mirrors when you go to premium. Power folding mirrors, power and heat glass. Also, turn signal indicator on the outside. You have that pony lamp that lights the ground beside the vehicle. And we do, um, I think that's it. Oh, turn signal heated. Yep covers everything also we do have the bliss with cross traffic alert so blind spot information system so if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time backing up cross traffic work uh, uh traff cross traffic alert someone crosses your path behind you it's going to alert you series of tones you need to stop not back up uh even shows on the the backup camera screen which direction they're coming from and going to uh it does have four door intelligent access which means key fob in your pocket just walk up Press the little button. There it does have the e-latch with a button uh, open for those uh, the doors, uh, so no levers to worry about. You can see no door handles or anything. Just press those, and it's going to pop it open for you. Uh, unlock it and pop it at the same time. It does have a grab handle for the drivers and the front passenger door. Uh, security code, keyless entry keypad as well, illuminated here on the pillar. So just swipe that down. You can use that to get to unlock and lock the vehicle if you don't have the keys on you. Um, and then also uh, black upper window molding here as well. I uh, didn't mention that on the select. Forgot, went right over it, but uh, it is a, it's the same as the select. Um, the 
rocker moldings are black painted as or the cladding as well as the rocker moldings is black molded in. So that's I think that right there on top of that. So and then rear child safety lock. So you can lock these doors out so the kids can't open them at the very in, at the time you don't want them to just to say that. All right. Moving to the back. Uh, not a great view, but we'll start here. We do on this and here have the rear spoiler that is black painted. On the, on the black, you do have a center-mounted stoplight right there, rear wiper, rear defrost, rear washer back there as well, LED um, tail lights with the sequential turn signals uh, like we have what you see on the Mustang, reflector right there. We do have the, um, got ahead of myself, upper uh, body-colored upper uh, rear fascia with the black molded in on the lower part. I think if you go to this angle, you can see that better. There you go. You can see that black down there, body-colored up here with the reflector right there. Um, rear sensing system, as we mentioned, front, rear, and sides uh, for you. And then a rear view camera with reverse brake assist. So as you're backing up, if you're not paying attention, it'll alert you that, hey, you need to stop. If you don't, it'll break the vehicle. So we do have power liftgate as an upgrade when we go to the premium. So manual liftgate on select, power liftgate on the premium. We do have cargo tie-down hooks inside. Uh, adjustable uh, floor uh, for that. We do have a tire and inflator and sealant kit that comes with it as well. No spare there. We have a cargo area light as well as a PowerPoint in there. So have all that goes with that. All right. <clears throat> I think we covered that. Now let's get to the interior here. We do have for airbags, driver and front passenger dual stage airbag deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Driver knee airbag as well to help protect from those front collisions. We do have a front seat mounted side impact airbag as well as a rear, which is a big deal because normally you don't get that in the rear. So side collision is going to deploy that and help protect from those side collisions. Side curtain airbag as well. That's going to deploy down um, the airbag from the side of there for a rollover sensor as well. So hopefully no breaking glass from the windows come inside the vehicle. Illuminated entry with ambient lighting, multicolor, just like on the Mustang. Normally, it's ice blue in about every vehicle except for the Mustang and the Mustang Mach-E. Multicolor, you can choose your color for the lighting and the footwells and the, the, con, the cup holders and different areas in the vehicle. Pretty cool. Um, we do have front door scuff plates. They're black molded in with uh, the pony graphic on those. Uh, carpeted mats front and rear that are going to be included in this. Uh, center console armrest right there, as you can see, with the pedal that kind of that comes out. So it's not a big console to put things in, but you can store things underneath it there. Um, we do have for the seats, perforated ActiveX seating for this. Uh, you know, ActiveX, I like to say it's uh, more of a uh, nice material. It's not leather. Leather usually will, like, you know, you drop stains on it. Leather will, like, absorb those in, whereas this will wipe clean real nice and easy. For active lifestyles is what I call this. Front heated seats, driver and front passenger will have heated seats. Driver will get a 10-way power driver seat. Forward and back, up and down, you do have tilt to the seat as well. And then power lumbar and power recline. Passenger seat is an 8-way power passenger seat. Forward and back, up and down, power lumbar, power recline. Uh, Two-way manual head restraint, so they'll go up and down for you. For the front seats, you also get driver memory for this uh, driver's seat as well as the exterior mirrors. So uh, that's pretty cool, and that's nice upgrade there. Um, second row, 60-40 split fold seat, fold down center uh, armrest down there as, as well um, with beverage holders in them. Uh, manual adjustment two-way for the center headrest to go up and down. The two outbound are fixed. Um, and then we do have second row registers on the back to keep people cool in the back seat as well. And then we do have a USB port A and C port on the back of the console lat system lower anchors and tellers for children that allow you to be able to harness down that front or rear facing car seats uh, if you need to and then for your windows uh, we do have global open close window what that means is from the outside you can roll the windows down and let that that heat come out of the vehicle um, so you can open and close them from the outside using your remote uh, so that's pretty easy how it works you just hit the unlock and then press and hold it a second time for about five seconds Finally, it'll actually start rolling the windows down. Going up, you hit the lock, and then you press it a second time and hold it. And after about five seconds, they'll start going back up. Also, you do have one touch up and down feature for the front and rear windows, which means you don't have to hold it. So you just you know press it down or pull it up till you feel that click, let go, and it's going to go ahead and roll it down or up. 
Power door locks with auto lock and auto unlock, which means after you start going about five miles an hour, it's going to lock the vehicle, lock the doors up. Uh, enhanced memory uh, that sets the uh, driver display, your radio navigation, and driver assistance features for you. Nice. That's dictated by the remote that gets in the vehicle. Uh, we do have the uh, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So, like, uh, so you just pull that lever underneath, it'll go up and down, forward and back. Uh, it is a soft vinyl wrapped heated steering wheel, by the way, on this. And then you'll see the display is a 10.2 digital productivity screen through there with outside temperature, compass, uh, everything else right there. To the right of that, you'll see the push button start. So you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start it. Uh, we do have dual zone climate control. You uh, control that right there on the screen. Uh, so the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. And for your audio controls, it's the B&O audio sound system. Uh, featuring the new Biosonic, B-Sonic, I don't know, B-E-O-S-O-N-I-C. I'm probably saying it wrong. I apologize to b &O, uh, with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. Also has Sirius XM satellite radio with a 360L feature. Uh, so you'll have that. And Sync 4A. So this is the portrait style Sync 4 system with a 15 and a half inch LCD touchscreen there, phone wireless connection. Cloud connected, you have the wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You have digital owner's manual. The adaptive dash cards, which are these right here, so they're the most frequently used or most last used uh, things. So let's say you have navigation up there, but you want to change the radio, and you press the radio, then the navigation will be down here. So you can just click it nice and easy, and it's uh, one of those frequently used um, or the last used uh, apps that you had. Also, Personal profiles, which means your radio controls, where your climate was, uh, those different features will automatically be dictated by the remote as well that gets in the vehicle and starts it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we do have conversational voice command recognition system as well. Built-in navigation with three years of service. So EV trip planner, live traffic, predictive destinations, route guidance. Three years of service is included as part of the connected services which is great to have. Also, Ford Pass Connect, which allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app you download. You connect your vehicle in. You can unlock and lock it from anywhere. You can remote start it from anywhere. You can um, schedule remote starts in those comfort zones and such and times. Um, you can also see the tire pressure on your tires, what your, uh, what your range is on the vehicle, all those through that app. Plus, you can also, because this is an EV, will get your power, your trip, through that so you can plan your trip you can also plug and charge there's like six or eight different um vendors that they they work with or charging systems whether it be charge point electrified america whatever to where you can just have the one credit card you don't need to download their app just get to the charger and you can be able to initiate and everything and pay for it right from your app the four pass app also phone is a key so you can allow you to set up phone as a key so that you can use that instead of your remote as well um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now on the, the overhead, the mirror, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror, which means there's lever, no lever to worry about. It's got, I'm going to dim that mirror when the cars come in here, those bright lights at nighttime. Overhead console, can't really see it. it does have a sunglass bend there. You have lights, overhead lights as well there. Uh, this, the visors there, they flip down. Uh, illuminated vanity mirrors for the driver and front passenger. Also universal garage door openers. You can't see it in there program different transmitters or garage doors to that um, and then down below we do have a media bin down here wireless charging pad usb type a and c ports um, rotary dial shifter knob uh, and we do have a powerpoint down there as well in there now this is actually showing on here the panoramic glass roof that's actually optional this year that is not standard so i'm not covering that as well as the mobile power cord is not standard either. So I want to make sure you know those are different. From, um, of course, mobile power cord halfway through last year was taken away anyway. But for those that didn't know, uh, mobile power cord is an option now, as well as the Panic Vesta roof or is also optional. You will have a fixed roof as standard equipment um, on the vehicle. So I want to clarify that real quick. And let's talk about colors. First, talking about the interior color options. Uh, for the premium, we have the black onyx like we did see in the select, but we also have the space uh, light space gray as well available. Now, it's not quite that light. That looks white. 
it's it's a gray, uh, but it looks real sharp. You can see, so you still got some black onyx in some areas, uh, but then the headliner as well as parts of the dash, doors, and the seats are going to be that light space gray. Uh, looks really good and, in it. Now, let's talk about exterior colors for a second. There are some that are different for this year. We do have the Grabber Blue is available this year. Looks great. Star White uh, Tri-Coat. That is three coats of paint, so it is $7.95 for that color. Uh, Rapid Red Tinted Clear Coat. It's not three coats of paint, but it does have a tinted clear coat on it, so it's $4.95 for that color. We also have Shadow Black that's available. There you go. And we do have Vapor Blue also available. So those are all colors from last year that are available. Now, these other two colors are not available this year. They've been discontinued for this model year. So carbonized gray, as well as your space, space white. Those two colors are not available this year. But we have two new colors to take their place. Eruption green is available this year. And we do have another tricoat paint, Glacier Gray Metallic Tricoat. Again, that'll be $7.95, three coats of paint. And that was uh, introduced into the Super Duty for this year. So that is a new color for a lot of vehicles for this model year. So, all right. So that's all of our color options. So now we've covered everything that's standard on the premium trim. Now we're going to talk about some different options, and we're going to start by going through the powertrain. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we've already talked about, we've only talked about so far is the standard range rear-wheel drive system and setup. Now, if you want, as we mentioned earlier, if you go uh, E all-wheel drive, um, and what that price was, and now I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, there you go, changes the price $3,000. So that is $3,000 more if you go with the all-wheel drive system with the standard range. Now, if you want, you can go extended range for both, um, and then it's only showing E all-wheel drive, but you can go extended range. It's uh, $6,000 this year uh, if you want to go extended range. So it is not $7,000, so it has lowered a little bit. So $6,000 to go extended range, and that's available in either the E all-wheel drive or the rear-wheel drive. You can get that in either one of those. Make sure I'm right here on that. Yes. So you can go extended range on either the rear wheel drive with the single um, motor, or you can go the dual motor extended range as well, which would be the E all wheel drive system. So those are your options there. And that's how you would dictate that. So if you go E all wheel drive extended range, you're $10,000 from the initial standard range rear wheel drive price. So you know that. Make sure you, your note. Notes of that system right there. All right, moving down. Let's talk about some packages now. Night Pony package is not available this year. So that's uh, that's not available. Comfort package is already included is in the premium. So let's talk about this interior uh, protection package. It's actually more expensive this year. It's 350 this year, right? 395 Sorry, 395 this year. And you get a few more features here. You will get the front and rear floor liners. Uh, this does, by the way, remove your carpeted mats. You can see that right there. Uh, so you get floor liners in the front and the footwells for uh, all four of those. You also get a liner uh, uh, in the back. So you're going to get a cargo area protector uh, in the back as well. And then a cargo area cover. So that was moved from the comfort package to this package this year. And that's why it's a little more expensive this year. So you, now you're getting a cargo area cover as well. So that kind of helps protect so people can't see the different belongings you have in the back. So that's change to that package for this year. And then Blue Cruise 1.3. We mentioned Blue Cruise earlier. Um, actually, did we? Did we mention Blue Cruise earlier? I might have totally overlooked it. Blue Cruise is standard equipment, hands-free driving. Uh, did I even mention the intelligent adaptive cruise control and everything? I think I did. Yeah, I did that in the safety features. And we did mention Blue Cruise. Okay. And uh, so this here, uh, the Blue Cruise that comes standard is a three-month uh, service. Uh, let lets people see if they like it or not. They're going to use it much, that kind of thing. And then if, if you want to, you can purchase a one-year or monthly subscription at that point. Or if you know you want it, you can get three years in advance for $2,100 and actually saves you about $20 a month going that route than if you go the monthly route. So something to think about and is an option for you as well. So those are different packages available. Now let's get into different exterior options here. And uh, one of them is the wheel. And I don't know if any of these wheels are the wheel. I'm going to pop up on the screen the, the wheel. The optional wheel for this is a new wheel for this year is a 19-inch bright machine face aluminum wheel with a sinister bronze painted pockets. So now we have a bronze wheel here for this year. That is optional. And uh, let me see. What is the price of that wheel? 
that wheel is twelve hundred dollars if you elect to go with that wheel as a price increase. Uh, so there you go, pretty cool wheel, and that is new for this year. Uh, didn't wasn't available last year. Also, the panoramic fixed glass roof with the infrared reflective windshield, and that is optional this year. As I mentioned, it is fifteen hundred dollars for that option, uh, which is maybe why we didn't see a price increase on the initially. So technically, it is a thousand dollars more this year. If you want to look at it that way um so anyway actually 1500 right so um okay so there you go that is optional for you i digress all right uh front license plate bracket that is something that in states that require front license plate standard equipment the dealership will install it for you free of charge when it comes in states that require uh, don't require front license plate like kansas it's optional equipment so no charge option and the dealer will install it but if you don't put it on your order then they might charge you for the license plate as well as to put it on if you try to get it afterwards. So if you think you might want it, go ahead and order it. The mobile power cord, um, that was actually listed up here. I overlooked it. $500 for that if you want that mobile power cord. So you can plug it into either 120 or 240 outlet. You can do that with the mobile power cord. Uh, just, you know, a safety, safety thing. I guess they realize some people don't use it if they're only going to charge at home. So that's why they made it optional. But yeah, there you go. Uh, anyway, um, and then we do have some dealer installed options. Um, so some of these are actually included down here, and some aren't listed. So here's two dealer installed options. A roadside assistance kit, $70 for that. And really, they're not really installing it unless uh, you you're have a nice dealer and they take these and put it in the bag for you. But otherwise, they just might give you the box and put it in your vehicle upon delivery. So Ford just sends it to the dealer, and dealership puts it in your vehicle. First aid kit, same way. And both of those are available through Ford Accessories website. You can get it later if you want. Uh, wheel lock kit also that takes one of the, the lug nuts off each of the wheels, puts a locking one on there. So if you like your wheel, you get that upgraded uh, $1,200 sinister bronze painted pocket wheel. You might want those. Uh, th those there are, what were those? Um, $70 for those, and they're not showing on the website. Um, and then the other one is an exterior bumper protector. So that's a protector kind of goes on top of your bumper to help protect it uh, so you don't scratch up the paint and everything on the bumper if you lift, if you tend to drop things on your bumper. And that there is $90 if you want that. Uh, so those are a couple different. Those are all, That's a dealer installed options. Those are all of them right there. And that concludes all of our standard equipment and optional equipment for the uh, premium trim. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And again, it kind of covers everything. Use the timestamps to move around the video. And uh, again, you, order banks are open up right now for the premium trim. Go to your local dealer and you can place that order. You cannot order online yet. Uh, I think they're saying first quarter. So it's not necessarily January 1, uh, but sometime January, February, March. Uh, that'll be available. And, um, you know, we'll be doing the GT and the rally when that becomes available. Uh, we've done the select video. So check that out if you'd like to see if that's going to be enough for you. Uh, a lot of a lot of standard equipment on the select. It might just work for you, but you can order with your local dealer just like you would on any other vehicle. Um, and but they do have to be a Model E certified dealer. So not all dealers signed up to be an EV dealer or a Model E dealer. So you want to make sure you find those uh, those dealers and uh, uh, look around and find those. Now, something to always note when placing that order: uh, make sure you uh, know a little bit about what they're going to price the vehicle, because yes. Um, when it comes to the Model E, and the reason they went to Model E is because of transparent uh, pricing. But a lot of people don't know this, but the dealers can mark up the vehicle if they want to. They just have to be transparent about it and let you know about it ahead of time. And nothing's hidden once the vehicle comes in. So that's that's where you uh, are dictated to. So if you order through us, you will be very transparent uh, pricing. The price is going to be $1,000 below MSRP. Um Speaker went off. So again, thousand dollars below MSRP is what we're pricing on our select and our premium trim level, um, and uh, we do have a special offer as well through YouTube. So if you are uh, watching this on YouTube, mention that you did see this on YouTube, and if you want, we can ship it to you. If you finance a vehicle with us uh, at standard rates, then we will uh, pay for the first thousand dollars of the shipping cost or travel expenses. So if you want to travel in, we're talking flights, hotels on the way back. Um, and, uh, you, cause you have the free charging. So, um, and then, uh, we'll pay for those on the way back up to thousand dollars or shipping it to you. So, uh, if you're within a thousand dollars of that shipping cost, then that won't cost you anything. 
or we'll cover the first thousand dollars. So very transparent about that. Four ninety five is our dealer fee. Nothing else is added. We don't add any uh, any you know paint protection or anything. We don't make that mandatory on any orders. Some dealers are doing that. Uh, again, very transparent about this. If you want it, great. We can put it on your vehicle, let you know what it's going to cost. That is completely up to you. And when you order the vehicle, that's the price you're going to pay. If the price goes up from the time you ordered it to the time Ford actually makes it, uh, you're not going to pay. Uh, Law McCarthy will not pay any extra. That's called price protection. Ford will protect the the dealer to that price, and we we protect the customer. Not all dealers know how that works, and we'll honor that. Uh, we will here at Law MacArthur, as well as incentive lock. Incentive lock means any special rate or incentives that are available, uh, rebates or rates that are available at the time you order, we're going to honor those. Now, we can't use any kind of low interest rates along with our free shipping. I'll, um, again, very transparent about this. Um, we need the, the if you finance a vehicle, we get enough of a return from the, the, the lenders to be able to pay for the shipping costs. That's kind of how that works. Um, so again, very transparent about it. But and I think I've said transparent way too many times. I think that's about it. If you have any questions, of course, don't mention you can call us. Numbers are down in the description uh, as well. If you want to order from us, you can go to our website. We have build and price up right now for 24 model year. You can go to our website. In fact, let's, let me show you that um, real quick. Um, I don't want to take too much time here. Um, but if you want, you can order right here. In fact, we have 24 mach -E right down at the bottom. And then you can on here. Um, so you can see premiums right there. shows you the pricing. You go all-wheel drive. You see how it changes that. I guess you got to reselect that. Um, and then you can build it from there. We have the new color options on there. It does not change the color of the vehicle. Um, we do not have uh, that, that rights from Ford to be able to do that yet. Uh, but at least we can get you all the different color options that I have down here. As you can see there, uh, there was one uh, correction we had to make down here somewhere. Um, uh, for something uh, that we will get a hold of them to do. Uh, looks like everything's right on here. Um, I think it had to do with um, the Blue Cruise or something. Uh, anyway, so premium looks to be set up and good to go with no uh, no hiccups there. Um, so you can build it out. So if you want to do that, order from us. Go ahead and build that out. Confirm your selections and then go ahead and fill in your information and then we can get that ordered for you and get and confirm that and then we'll order it and uh, make it uh, have it come in here real nice and easy to do i hope you guys did like this video if you did smash that like button uh, if you like this video like other videos hit that subscribe hit the notification bell and check us out on our live streams every tuesday night 7 p.m central where we can go over we go over scheduling information about what models are scheduling this week and this month and such we go over dealer news updates recalls and even answer your questions live we even have a hot topic of the night so it's a lot of fun join us uh, live if you want to we also you can check us out on our podcast too um, but yes other than that thank you guys very much hopefully you liked it until the next video stay positive be kind to of one another be kind to of yourself and we'll see you on the next video